I'm Bobby Kowalski. I I'd like um, Kowalski's personal file, please. Mr. Donnelly will pick it up on his way out. Thank you. Right. You can pick it up when you leave. All right, fine. Good night, Bye. Good to have you with us again. Uh, yes. Okay? Yeah. See you in the morning. Right, Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. I think we should make a move, too. It's going to be a long day tomorrow. Do you think they're really going to try and kill him? Maybe. Do you think they're going to poison him? Is that why you had that, that coffee looked at? I don't think they're going to make a move tonight. Whatever they do is going to... It's going to require some planning. I believe he's safe for tonight, at least. What sort of people are we dealing with? I mean, why would they try and take out one of their own? They'll do anything necessary to protect themselves. And Robin, they would even try to hurt our little daughter. <sighs> come on. Don't come unglued on me right now. I've come back to poor Charles to protect the both of you, and I intend to do just that. Now, I think we should go home and see our daughter. She needs us. We all got a good night's sleep. Yep. Well, it was a little tough for me to put my brain to sleep thinking about what we'd said about Bert. I just, I can't believe why Ramsey would get involved with organized crime. I mean, it goes against what he stands for, everything he believed in. Yeah, it's a shock, all right. Now, of all the people on this planet, I would have entrusted my life to Bert Ramsey. I've been racking my brains trying to think of, of something I missed, or something I should have picked up on. You know, Anna, I was doing the same thing last night, too. I did come up with one thought. I, I should have been tipped off sooner at that time. Remember when Bert had me arrested on trumped-up charges for killing Ellen Quartermain? Yeah. I mean, he really didn't have anything concrete on me, just enough circumstantial evidence to keep me in jail overnight. That's right. I was surprised at that, too. He never even consulted me. That's yet. because it was a diversion. I, I was snooping around the ADZ warehouse then. I mean, Bert obviously wanted to be out of the way. Well, no doubt there was a big cash shipment due to come through. Yeah. A lot of things are starting to make sense now. Do you remember Felicia and I were on the run and I called you and Bert? Yes. Bert answered, though. And as soon as I told him where we were, we were mysteriously disconnected. That's right. He said he couldn't find out where you were because the phone had gone dead. That also explains why uh, the evidence of the mob's activities in Port Charles that the Duke amassed and sent to the police was intercepted. What? I didn't know Duke gave you guys evidence. He might, he might have been trying to wash his hands of the mob this whole time. Well, it doesn't change anything, because he can't be forgiven for what he did to you and Felicia and for involving my daughter. <sighs> Let's get to work. Uh, where's your missus? She's at the hospital, keeping an eye on Ramsey and the guards. You know, Robert, I went over uh, Kowalski's file last night. Yeah. Seems like his background is very similar to Burns. So I think it's safe to assume that Bert brought those guys in here to work for him personally. I'll check with my contacts in New York, see what else I can find out about them. You can wonder how many other people he has working for him in the force. There can't be too many others. It's too risky. I don't think so either. So, where do we go from here? Well. Our main objective is to keep Lavery alive. They're gonna try to keep him from testifying. They'll do anything they have to. Right. So we have between now and when the hearing convenes to amass as much evidence as possible against Ramsey and the mob. Right. I don't believe it. I don't believe I could have been so blind, you know. I mean, he deceived me as much as Duke did. We were all fooled. Yeah, everybody but Robert. What made you so suspicious? Oh, a lot of things. That... little things. I came across him having a drink. Now, you know, for as long as I've known Bert, the guy's had an ulcer. He's never, ha he's never drunk anything else but milk. Mm. So, what's next? Right, whatever's next, we've got to do it quick. Frisco, that list of names, give it to Sean. Sean, I want you to check it off against Kowalski and Burns. Find out if there's a connection. Will do. And then put a tail on them. Got it. Hold it. Finally. Sean. I mean, can I talk to Robert, please? Yeah, he's right here. Felicia, for you. Hello, oh, what's happening? I came by to give your message to Bert, but he's gone. Gone? You mean checked out of the hospital? Yes. Well, when? Did anyone see where he went? 
Rick Weber's here. Maybe he can tell you what happened. Hi, Robert. Rick, Felicia just told me that Bert's not in the hospital. No, no, that's right. He checked out uh, just before Felicia got here. Well, he can't be in any condition to be released just yet. He's not. Look, Steve and I argued till we were blue in the face. He insisted he had to be at a grand jury hearing this afternoon. Well, he told me the same thing, but I didn't think he was well enough. Believe me, Robert, we tried. If it hadn't been for one of the officers that was guarding him that said that he was a medic in the service, uh, he promised that he'd keep a close watch on him, so we let him go. One of his police guards. Uh, do you know which one? Uh, yeah, his name was uh, Kowalski. Right. Uh, thanks, Rick. Uh, listen, can I speak to Felicia again? Sure. Hold on. Yeah. Now, look, I know you can't talk, so I want you to get over to the police station. Keep a look out for Ramsey and his guards. I'll send uh, Frisco to join you. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Sure. Uh, let me see that Kowalski file, will you? Yeah, sure. So this guy is supposed to be a medic in the army. And I'm the tooth fairy. 